Hey guys, I thought I'd give you an update on the uh, tree situation. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a lot more down on the ground now than it was uh, in the last picture where it was just kind of hanging there. Uh, we worked on this this past Friday. I had some help from the Georgia Museum of Agriculture. They sent a couple of guys out to help me uh, because they're interested in the firewood from this thing. The museum has a lot of stoves and fireplaces and they're always uh, looking for opportunities to get oak uh, to burn. Uh, being down here in the south, we mostly have pine trees and pine trees, so I'm not really make the best uh, firewood. So uh, they were real excited <laughs> at my loss, I guess you'd say. Uh, but me and two other guys, we spent all day long Friday really just trimming the tree up, you know, taking off uh, any of the branches and stuff that weren't bearing any weight because this thing was so, so toppled up in the air. We were scared it may come down on us. So we got all the smaller limbs and uh, leaves and whatever off. And uh, in fact, you can see right here, we got a burn pile started. And there's really nothing in there, probably bigger than your forearm. Everything bigger than that, uh, the museum is taking for firewood, uh, which is nice. Um, we hauled off two big flatbed truckloads of firewood on Friday. And uh, we're gonna have to come back and spend another day out here finishing this thing up. And we're really gonna get into the bigger wood <laughs> after that. And I don't know, there's probably three or four more truckloads of this bigger stuff in here uh, that we still need to haul off. So anyway, we spent most of the day, like I said, just getting the, the limbs and stuff trimmed up. Once we got that done, we uh, wanted to get this thing on the ground. Uh, and it was kind of getting late in the day. But we uh, took a tractor with a chain, put on there, and just pulled it down. I got a little short video clip I'll show you. We actually shot uh, pulling this thing down. Okay. You can see I've still got a lot of cleanup work to do out here. Uh, all these leaves and little small stuff, I'm gonna have to rake it up and uh, get it over on the burn pile. Uh, where this big mess is, this is really kind of under where the tree was at. And of course, when we pulled it down, it kind of pulled it over to the side. So it's in a little bit of a cleaner area in the yard right now. Uh, but anyway, I thought I'd give you an update. Uh, let's show you. Uh, we, at least I feel a lot better that this thing isn't as dangerous now. Uh, we still got some uh, pieces going up in the air, but nothing like it was before. So uh, I don't think it's going to be too terrible. Cutting the rest of this thing up, we've had the tractor out here with the uh, forks and the bucket on it, which has really helped a bunch, being able to manhandle some of these bigger pieces and pick things up and push on things and what have you. So under my burn pile here is the stump, and uh, we cut it down probably about a foot off the ground, two feet off the ground, something like that. And uh, it was really hollow on the inside. In fact, uh, once we started cutting that down, we, we came in here and just put the saw in there and kind of got into the center of it. And um, once we got it on the ground, we realized that the, there was really only about six inches of good wood most of the way around that trunk. There were a couple places that was thicker than that. And then you started getting in another three or four inches of kind of wood that was a little bit rotten. And uh, then the inside was just hollow. So I've had people asking about uh, counting rings. Uh, no, no counting rings on this. They're, they're not all there. They're, most of them were gone. Uh, but anyway, hopefully when we burn this down, you know, it maybe it'll burn some of that stump out and get it partially out of the way. But my mess is uh, slowly disappearing and cleaning up. Maybe we can get this thing out of here later this week. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching.